Hello everyone, I'm Savleen from Talk Studio. In this Startup Talk series, we connect and talk to innovative startup founders. Today, we have the founder and CEO of Graphene X to talk about his inspiring startup journey. Here you go. Right behind you. Jorge Barros, founder and CEO of Graphene X. I am originally from Chile, a country which is actually at the other side of the world of where I am based today, which is Hong Kong. I have been here for the last four years with my wife Claudia, who is the second founder of Graphene X and my far superior half, and our little daughter Dominga, who is about to turn two years in a couple of months. I define myself as a big fan of tech, a big fan of innovation, and generally speaking, a big fan of the world that we are living today, uh, and uh, a big fan of the outdoors at the end of the line, big fan of the outdoors, of hiking, of trailing, of trail running. That's exactly the place where Graphene X was at least as a concept uh, born. Graphene X basically started because of two different situations that played together. The first one was actually coming to Hong Kong where space is very limited and you need to very carefully decide what you have. So when we got here the first time we were faced with the problem and with the question of how can we make the little space that we have more efficient. And the first question that the strikers is that why did we need so much stuff back there and, and, and particularly clothing we just look at our closets with, with Claudia and, and we realized that we had 10 different pants uh, 10 different jackets one for hiking one for uh, hanging out with friends one to go for business casual meetings other for uh, traveling etc so we said it's curious that even though there's really technical and, and great clothes for particular stuff. Let's say you want to hike the Everest, you have amazing jackets to hike the Everest, but 99% of your time you're not hiking the Everest. You are doing your daily life, you are commuting, you are working, you are having a beer with friends, you are uh, messing around in your house. And, and there, was, there weren't really a, a brand focused on engineering clothes thought for that to be truly all around and to performing this variety of situations. The second point that uh, ignited Graphene X was uh, one time where I was making a, a hike. I had bought a very expensive jacket of, of one of the big brands and uh, this is my first hike with the jacket and I just cross with a, with, a, with a small tree with a very small branch and I just go pass through it and, 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 and just get a hole in the jacket and say, well, come on, this, is, this was like a $600 jacket. And I said, this is not possible. I mean, this, this was really supposed to be good and, and to last for a long time. And here am I with a jacket with a hole in, in the first use. So that's where I basically decided to say, you know what, we're going to try to do something different. We're going to try to develop a brand that's truly all round, that's versatile and that's extremely and really durable. When we were in the research phase of, of the whys, we didn't have this like truly all round brand. We always clash with materiality. You see, uh, you have materials like cotton, merino wool, polyester, nylon, etc. that by themselves, they're great for some stuff, but they're not just great for other stuff. Right, and, and that was the normal problem that we, we faced. Uh, and in this uh, research phase, we, we stumbled across this uh, incredible material called graphene, which was discovered in 2004. 
and for why uh, for which the, the the scientists that discovered it uh, were awarded the Nobel Prize of Physics in 2010. This material basically is the first atomic layer of graphite, right? Uh, it's a hexagon uh, shaped uh, material that has incredible properties like being uh, 200 times stronger than steel in terms of uh, tensile strength, uh, in being flexible, in being almost entirely transparent, uh, in being uh, antibacterial, among others. So we just thought back then like how amazing could be to integrate this, this, this wonder and, and mysterious material called graphene with, with the other materials. And, and that's where basically our research started and, and, and we decided to see if it was possible to empower uh, the modern world materials with graphene. So this is when we uh, found a partner who believed in our vision, who had the experience in building high performance apparel and that was willing to jump with us in, in, in this adventure or of, of trying to integrate graphene with modern materials and, and to making clothing uh, from it. That's where this whole thing started. Uh, this is already two, three years ago, three years ago, where we started looking for this truly all round and durable jacket. That's where the Alpha Series jacket uh, was born. Uh, at least in a concept and, and, and after finding the right provider of, of graphene because you know basically uh, cheap graphene or that that's not real graphene basically it's graphite it has totally different properties than graphene and, and to have graphene uh, extracted it's, it's quite an, an, a complicated and, and rather expensive procedure so we had to find a serious partner for that we did we already had this partner that had all the experience in, in apparel uh, manufacturing and we started with the prototype. We had over eight prototypes before we got to the final jacket where we started asking people like what, what would you like, what would, do you value in, 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 a, in, a, in a jacket like this and, and, and we get there uh, and that's the moment we said okay we have the product that has an amazing value for its money but then we faced the problem that we didn't have the connections or, 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 or really have the resources to bring this project to life and, and where, kick, where Kickstarter appeared as, as the perfect platform to share our vision, to share our product and to basically see if there was people that was willing to bet on, on something like this that had this problem that we were having and that were willing to to, to join our, our campaign, to have this jacket delivered six, seven months after that campaign. We were pretty confident that we would have good results and, and gladly we did. Uh, we never expected though to be uh, among the 0 0.3 of the most successful Kickstarter campaigns in history, selling to uh, backers from over 70 countries which was the final validation of, of our vision, of our idea and, and where Graphene X was truly born, where this idea, where this conception, where this vision was actually translated into a product that uh, benefited users from 70 countries and, and counting over 2000. So the vision and, and, and the future of, of Graphene X is, is right there, we are still a very young company it's uh, it's been over just over a year from from the moment we sold our first jacket but we have our north pretty clear uh, we believe in the power of individuals we believe in the power of of, of people that that believes in an, in, in an idea in a concept in a vision and and that's exactly where we plan to leverage uh, to become a global brand. We aim to become a, a global brand recognized uh, for uh, revolutionizing the apparel industry uh, and, and doing so in a completely different way than traditional brands. We plan to leverage on our backers. If you think so, among just the, the, the backers of, of the first campaign of the Alpha Series jacket, you have over 2,000 people 
from over 70 countries. You can just imagine how many talented people you have among uh, that bunch. So basically, thinking on that is where we developed and launched the first ever Backers Board of Directors, where we uh, recruit backers and, and actual users of our, of our products to become part of the brand. So basically, we are recruiting data scientists, photographers, uh, videographers, uh, intellectual property experts, uh, materials uh, experts, material science experts, uh, etc. Uh, and we invite them to develop projects where their, their special talent, their special what, is able to add value to the brand. And on, on the other hand, we, we agree to share 1% of the, re of the revenues, not only the profits, but, but the revenues of the brand with them. So basically, we empower our very small uh, yet uh, a company that has big ambitions and, and has a very clear vision with people that already believes in, in us, that, that has tried our products and, and, and is incredibly happy with what they got and that has a, a talent which um, all, all of us have uh, and they that want to add value to the brand to help it uh, grow with uh, with them participating on it that's that's how we are going to 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 realize our our vision that's how we are going to become uh, a global brand in a way uh, that no other brand uh, has been able to do so. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, for hearing our story. Uh, I hope that now we have uh, at least one more uh, enthusiastic fan of, of the brand and I sincerely invite you uh, to be part, to take part on, on, on what we are doing. It's, it's exciting. With 100% certainty, this is going to be uh, a fun ride. So, welcome to, to join us, and I'm always there. I mean, I'm just a couple of clicks away. Thank you. Graphene X, Carbon Evolved. Wow, that's an inspiring story of Graphene X. If you want us to cover your startup story, submit your startup in our website you see in the description down below. Please do subscribe to our channel and we'll meet you soon with a new story.